Welcome to Forever Family. We have another DIY gospel activity. So the idea is to do our own screen printing somehow on these pillowcases. And I forgot the reason why I'm doing this. I left it upstairs. Pause. This is, this is my idea. Okay, well it's not gonna look this cool because this is embroidered, not screen printed. And so this pillowcase was given to me by my seminary teacher when I was in high school. And it says, did you think to pray? And it glows in the dark. And I love this. And um, so we're making pillowcases that just say pray. We're gonna screen print them. They're gonna say pray. Um, and I'm gonna try and do glow in the dark paint. Yeah, all right, anyways, so this pillowcase just inspired me to make my girls some pillowcases that say pray so that they remember to always say their bedtime prayers. Yeah, okay. So, for this project, you need an embroidery hoop. And I just saw a bunch of people doing this kind of stuff on like Pinterest, so I'm gonna try it. This is my first time ever, so yeah. So we need an embroidery hoop. And I found mine at a thrift store like a few years ago. You need pantyhose, stockings, um, scissors, permanent marker, a brush, Mod Podge, the color paint, and we're going to mix these two together to see if they actually glow in the dark, if I mix the glow in the dark with the regular paint. I don't know if that's gonna work, but we're gonna try it before we actually print it on here. And then I got a set of two pillowcases, and then I picked out the color. Okay, let's try and figure so this out. So first, I'm going to cut off this part of the stocking that is like, not as stretchy as the rest, it's like super thick. And then I'm gonna cut down one side, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna stretch it over the embroidery hoop. If you cut it all the way down, will it go over and stay? That's what the embroidery hoop is for, honey. What does it do? It holds it on. Oh. Okay. So here's that. Now you untighten this and you pull it out and you st stretch it over. I might need help, John. Okay, so I got these ends in, so now I'm just going to, cause it's still, it's like tight, but not like super tight, so I can like pull the fabric through like this. At least try to. Come on. Pull through. That'll stretch. I just gotta get it to stretch. Okay. It's like pulling up. Fit. Come on. There it goes. Okay, that's one side. I 
why he's so mad right now. <laughs> it's supposed to work. Okay, what if you just did that again, and then I'll just hold that side while you try to get it to the... Fit. getting in it. What if it runs? <sighs> Let's just keep going. I don't know. Here, hold it. Maybe we probably just needed a smaller embroidery hoop. <sighs> now that we have painstakingly got this, I'm make sure the part is down and I'm gonna write pray on here. Try to make it look pretty. Bubble letters, which I'm not very good at. So let's see here. Pray. Okay. And then I guess you're supposed to paint on the whole thing with Mod Podge to cover in the holes that aren't going to be done. So I want to leave the bubble letters not painted and then I want to paint everything else so that the fabric paint doesn't get on everything. So let's start. Oops, I'm already messing that up. So it's drying right now and if I look at it up like this, I can see some holes in it. So I'm definitely gonna be doing another layer before I go to bed and probably even a third layer tomorrow. But yeah. Okay, that is the third layer of glue on that. Um, okay. So I'm gonna let that dry. And I'm going to experiment with my blue and glow-in-the-dark paint. Now I'm going to mix them together a little bit and do a test strip on this cover. So I'm going to cut like this flap off and do a test strip. So let's add a tiny bit of glow-in-the-dark paint. And a tiny bit of blue paint. And... Mix, mix, mix. And I guess we'll see. Even if it doesn't glow in the dark, I think it should work just fine. But I'm just going to apply it to this little fabric strip right here. I didn't wash it, so I'm going to wash the actual pillowcases here 
I guess. But, yeah. So, it'll have one layer like that. And then we'll dry it. And I guess we'll see how it turns out. Kind of nervous. So, I did the first test spot. Um, now I'm going to do just some blue. Let it dry. And then put... Um some glow-in-the-dark paint over it and see if that works okay so I let that one spot dry for a little bit and I'm gonna add the extra um, glow-in-the-dark stuff on top of it maybe that'll make a difference if it's just like rubbed on top of it so we'll find out I'm hiding in the dark dark bathroom and you can I don't know if you can see that little like light shining through right there, but um, it glows like <sighs> Where'd it go? I can't even see it in the camera really It glows just the, the slightest bit in the dark um, Since I put the glow-in-the-dark paint on top of this one. I could see around the edges mostly it glowing I didn't see anything glowing in the mixture one so I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm not going to waste the Skull in the Dark paint on this project. I will save it for something else. I'm not sure. Maybe we could do black Glow in the Dark art t-shirts or something. I don't know. But I will just be putting Prey with the blue. And I think that will be good enough. I think the girls will like their little Prey pillowcases. What do you think? You want a pray pillowcase? Yeah! <laughs> so this has had three layers put on it, and I'm pretty sure it should work now. At least that's what it says in everything that I've seen about it. Okay, so then you have to take your pillowcase. That's a big one. Yep. And we need to put the cardboard in it. Are you going to take these off? Hold on. Put the cardboard in it. And right where we want the words to go. Right in the middle um, here. Where'd my pillow go? Where'd the pillow go? Where'd you girls take my pillow at? I put it on the couch. You need my pillow back. So it won't get ruined. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Bring the I pillow, put pillow. It, I put it on the couch. Okay. So, it won't so get it's going to look like this. It's going to say, pray. And then with the glow in the dark paint, I'm going after it's done drying the blue, I'm going to take and write, Did you think to pray with the glow in the dark paint like this is? But this is embroidered, it's not puffy paint, puffy fabric paint. So that's the idea. Okay, let's start. I'm going to be scared. Just okay, here we go. That just looks bad. Let me see. Maybe I can use like a. Maddie, go get my plate from earlier with all my stuff on it. It'd probably look better if you just painted it on and then didn't worry about the whole embroidery thing. So this is how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of use my Q-tip and. Brush on it on the rest of the way that it needs to be. Okay, so definitely using the Q-tip to fix any mistakes worked pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry. Preferably, I guess I wish I would have had like a different color. The dark blue doesn't look as good as I wanted it to. Maybe if I just did plain black, but I think it looks good. I'm gonna let this dry and do the other pillowcase. Oh. 
Do they look awful still? What happened? Here, take this. I think when you were dragging it sideways, it bled a little bit. So, I'm going to suggest that maybe just hand painting the letters on because doing the screen printing the second time, there's a big difference between the lettering between the first and the second time. Um, so yeah, I probably would have just hand painted everything instead of doing the screen printing. It doesn't work very well. So yeah, I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm going to write out, did you think to pray? Yep, yeah, okay. Okay, our stuff is all dry. I'm just gonna peel it off. Yeah, it's all dry under there. Okay, peel that off so that it can have room to move. And I'm going to get this ready because I'm gonna write with the glow in the dark paint. Did you think to pray over here? Put my cardboard in here. Did you think to pray? Okay, let's see how this works. <laughs> okay, do not write. That's a big D. Oh well. Okay, I am not a very good writer. And I think I'm gonna run out of room. I just <laughs> I'm gonna run out of room. Okay, so it's gonna be it'll feel kinda like plastic because I've used like other kind of puffy fabric paint before and it kind of feels like plastic after but um it's close enough to the end that it shouldn't like affect them sleeping on it <laughs> uh yeah i'm gonna let that dry here is the pillowcase and you can see the writing over here and it glows in the dark when it gets you can like see it it's glowing a little bit like that but i'll put it in the dark so you can see it but here, Eve, you want to hold this up for me? Hold up your pillowcase. Can I hold up? Yeah, hold up the other side for me. See, that's what it looks like. It says pray, and then over here it says, did you think to pray? That way you guys always remember to say a prayer before you go to bed and when you wake up in the morning. So why is it sideways? Well, it won't be sideways in your bed. It'll be like this in your bed. See? And this will be sideways? Yep. Do you like it? Yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you. I'm so glad you guys like it. Yeah, and it's a little beautiful. It's a little beautiful? I love it. I love it too. Did you think to pray? So that was my semi-successful kind of a failure. I don't know. Screen printing, DIY pray pillowcases um there are so many ways you could do these um embroidery like my original pillowcase um you could do fabric markers or you could just paint by yourself there's a lot of different ways you could do it um if you do decide to do this let me know because <laughs> i would love to see how yours guys turned out i still have two more days before i can even wash this because it says 72 hours before washing so I will be posting on Instagram how the pillowcases turn out after being washed. So check out our Instagram in a couple of days to see how that turns out.